リッチマーチョン、ズゲームフォートセインスキル。はい、できてる。コードヘッドカーキュエーションズ。ブリオンストレッチーズ。カンシマ。エンワーク、エルメトエヴァッジ、ビットコインインベスト、エンアクションインベスト。In this game, you will expand your knowledge, develop a spider sense to detect when someone is about to fuck you over, and occasionally have fun. However, this game is not for the weak and will make you consider the rope more than a gacha player. After betting his entire mortgage and money for the bills and still not being able to put those filthy hands in the PNG of his wife. But to understand the complexity of this game, you need to know his origins, which, of course, is the Japanese. So, you see, in 1924, a soldier named Saburo Iriyama brought the game to the land of the rising sun. In Tokyo, he started a mahjong club, barber, and school. In the years after, the game dramatically increased in popularity, being included as a mini game inside games, having solo media adaptations, games exclusively dedicated for it, and tournaments. In this process, the game itself was simplified from the Chinese version, but there was something fundamental that the Japanese could not tolerate. Simple. Because being overly complex runs in the bloodstream of the Japanese, and thus new rules were born. A range of these cards Richie, Dora, Furiton. Now you might be wondering what are these ancient sorcery spells that will make the Spanish Inquisition politely invite you to a barbecue. And so, you can think of Richie Mahjong as poker, but made by someone addicted to RPG board games, because oh boy, the rules go far and wide. Essentially, you play with tiles instead of cards, and there are four suites, which are Sozu aka So Bamboo, Pinzu aka Pin, Manzu aka Man, which go from 1 to 9, and they are honor titles which are made up of two subsets Winds, East, South, West, North, and yes, this is definitely the right orientation of the coordinates. And Dragons, Green, Red, White. In the beginning, players add out 13 tiles each. At the start of the turn, each player will draw a tile from the wall, and if you draw a winning hand, Congratulations, you can escape from your cell. But if that's not the case, you have to discard one of your tiles and the game goes to someone wins the turn or there's no more tiles. If you've been missing, you're probably wondering what's a winning hand. Well, it's a hand that allows you to win. It's. It's a hand that's at least one Yaku. Some examples of Yaku are Yakuhai, Daniel, All Green, and Under the River, which some people hate because it reminds them of something that they didn't touch or do in maps. Out flush, out triplets. Richie, which is where the name of this Mahjong variant comes from. If a player has an entirely closed hand and is in Tenpai, then you have the option to declare Richie, betting a thousand points that you will win. From this point onward, you are playing an autopilot and you cannot change your hand in any way. Thus, being completely in the mercy of the game like a baby, but instead of a man taking care of you, you have three people trying to fuck you over. Have a good time. Now, there's a thing that I forgot to mention. In this game, you can pillage other players' graveyards of tiles to achieve or get closer to a winning hand. But, r o b b e r y has rules because you don't want to abuse the system too much and, and end up in a tiny shower room in Siberia with a six foot Russian guy generously offering to treat your back pain. Now, the rules are simple. You can only do surprise communism to tiles that were just discarded. You shall only rob the last discarded tile to complete a sequence. You can acquire a tile to complete a triple from any player. If you do any of this, you have an open end and can no longer declare Richie. In regards to the winning tile, if you draw it, you can declare Tsumu, and the dealer has to pay half the amount that your hand is worth and the other two players the rest. However, if you take that tile from another player discard, well, let's just say that someone will curse as many generations of a family tree as your hand is worth. Another peculiarity of this variant is that to add extra value to your hand and quantity of antidepressants taken by the other players, you have something called Dura, which allows you to do things like this. Don't. <laughs> the way this works is that in the beginning of the game, A Dora indicator will be placed, and the next tile in the suite is a Dora. There's a way to increase the number of Dora indicators, which is Kan. 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 Kono gurai wa asame shimae sa. Waru i ne. 
but this is a double-edged sword because either you have to neuter us or you lose your shit faster than the tourists in South America. Finally, for those who can't sleep at night because your brain keeps remembering you of that one time that you told a joke and nobody laughed, I have the perfect thing for you, Furitem, which is the number one cause of confusion among us. <laughs> the players. This stops you from winning if you met any of the following three conditions. So, not anywhere as much as someone with a bachelor's degree, you are also not at all ready for the real deal. Because these were just the rules and the complexity of this game is in the critical thinking and decision making. For example, you are in Tempai but this comes to your hand. What should you do? Discard it? But someone could be waiting for the white stuff to come. Not the white stuff you are thinking, but this white stuff. Well. That's where the strategy part of this game comes in. No. <laughs> Some of the most basic and common strategies are phone attack. Usually these people play as safe as their dads pull out, win some games, till inevitably they take a big fat wrong in the face and complain how they don't have luck. Full on defense, they play safer than the United Nations when there's some countries at war, not giving wrong to anyone, but... That right there is emotional damage. <laughs> Vietnamese static, which consists in being tempai, not acquiring Richie, and just meaningfully waiting for an unsuspicious victim to discard your winning time. The guy who knows the probability of every tail at any turn giving wrong, and in spite of that, it usually hands in him giving wrong to a guy who believes in the art of the tiles and was in the dead weight because, as some ancient philosopher once said, every single event has a 50% chance of happening, because it either happens or it doesn't. That being said, they tell themselves, it's, it's fine, I, I'm running on every. <laughs> there are many more strategies, but don't worry, in the end of the day, you still will cry in a fatal position. It will just happen less frequently if you choose a good strategy. And for those who are almost having an art attack, because I didn't mention actual strategies and If you already have some experience playing, there's this book which conveys nicely some intermediate strategies. If you want more advanced strategies, use your brain cells for once and figure it out yourself, otherwise it's far too easy. Creep. That said, if you think this is too much, this is just online games, which just don't hold your hand, but carry more than I carry a main Yasu who says mid or feet in the lobby. Like in real life, you don't have someone telling how much your head is worth, so you better have your maths in day, what Yakus you have, so if you forgot to mention one of your Yakus, get fucked, because the others will tell you that you forget, when the game is already over to make fun of how stupid, 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 because you're stupid, 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 he's stupid, awesome is stupid, 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 what does that do, stupid, you are. If you run or zoom a while in Furitan or with an invalid hand, you will pay with points and the rest of the dignity you still have. Despite this, playing in real life has its benefits, adding psychological warfare to the equation and thus allowing you to completely humiliate your adversaries, asserting your dominance. You can trash talk, like, really? A cheater? That's pretty cringe if you ask me, but okay. And if you no longer want to be friends with someone, but you don't want to be rude, you can just walk his yakma with a tayo. Some might argue that you can simulate this experience playing in town with someone online. But what will most likely happen is that everyone is gonna be in complete silence or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Eh bah putain, dépêche-toi, sale connard, tu poses chez ta vie ou quoi Allez, allez, allez Mira, mi este burgués, hijo de puta, mal nacido del carajo Chais, par un canon zénist, roi, sain Ah, ouah, baguette, il y a l'Argentine Europeo, ton putas Oh, guys, can you speak in English, please Pourquoi tu voulais parler dans ton anglais, là Pourquoi tu parles pas en français, toi Fucking French, you need Spanish <laughs> Mira mi yes English, can you speak it? Fuck you. <sighs> I already know the answer, but I knew. Ah, si burgues safar, English is teu cun mo pa camponés, si fude rapa. English, you fuck. <laughs> Tomar no teu cu. Fuck Donald Trump. Oh, 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 fucker. Ah, não, só não. Creio aí, tu mo cono yo de outro gai o nikun de masca. Não, the French just didn't take his breakfast. The Spanish, well, he has his reasons. But nobody hates the German because. Well, I just say this is a quite good, so you better not piss him off. And the Brazilian can be a little retarded, but well, he's not Portuguese, so it's fine. Ah, uh, so this guy. Uh, okay, I can speak in English, so. What? So yeah, this was my attempt of being funny, and um, if anyone asks where I'm from, I'm from Disney. As you can see, uh, some years ago I was abducted by Mickey Mouse. And nowadays I have to... <laughs> to entertain some fucking kid, but I like to see the bright side of the things, which in this case is said I don't work at Amazon. So yeah, um, stay healthy and appreciate hand.